Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanna Renee Graham. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we are going to be diving into the Anastasia Times Jackie Ina palette. And this is what it looks like. Like, look at this packaging. Oops. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This palette is so pretty, but I am just so proud of her. I know she had a lot of people in mind when she created this palette, especially the beautiful brown queens. Okay, look at this color selection. Like, look at that. These colors are bomb. Um, I've already swatched a few of these shades, and I am so, like, this is the first Anastasia palette that I've ever purchased where I can actually use every shade in the palette. If you like Anastasia and if you love Jackie, go out here and purchase this palette. But especially if you are a woman of color, this is going to be a palette that you can use every day. Um, they, these shadows, you know, from what I've seen, um, these shadows look like they are going to show up nicely on the skin so without further ado let's dive into this beautiful palette okay so i have no idea what i want to do i know i need to clean up under my brows first i already did um obviously i did my base makeup off camera um, I already pre-recorded this. This is for our updated contour and highlight routine. Okay, so I primed my lids with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. And let's get started. So I'm really excited to dive into this palette. Um, oh my God, this color range. I don't really know what kind of look I'm really going for. I've seen a lot of people do a lot of different looks and I kind of don't want to do the same look um but the shade Wigglies is really sticking out to me as well as this really nice shade Sponsor that's sticking out to me Trust Issues and like it's, it's just a lot of colors in this palette that's sticking out to me Inker which is this shade right here and I'm going to pack that shade all in the crease using a Morphe M433 brush. Wow, that's really pigmented. And I'm getting like zero fallout. Literally concentrating majority of the product in this outer corner. And I'm just blending in a little bit of the product towards the inner corner. This is like a very pretty like transition shade, especially for women who have deeper skin tones. I see you Jackie. I see what you did here. I see what you did. You're trying to get us to spin our coin. Okay, so then what I want to do is to deeper up that outer corner. I'm going to take that purple shade and the shade Big Wigs and I'm just going to focus that in the outer corner dragging a little bit to the center part of the eye okay so i did a half cut crease and i don't know i think i'm gonna go in with the shade wigglies with is this really nice red shade and i'm going to use a morphe 224 brush for that and first i'm going to go in without spraying the brush and see how this comes up oh that's pretty okay jackie and i'm not concentrating i'm not concentrating this color in the front part of my eye because i think i want to put another shade there Okay, so now that I have that shade on, I want to spray my brush now and then go on with it wet to see if it's a huge difference. With the same exact brush, I have another one. Um, we are going to go in with the shade 
Zam, which is this first shade up here in the corner. And we're gonna put that in front of that shade. With the same process, no, um, no product first. I mean, no spray first, just product. Just to see what this looks like. Honestly, this shade on deeper skin tones could be used as a highlighter. This shade does have a, a little bit of fallout, but it just literally just falls right off. And then we're gonna go back and forth between this shade and the red shade to kind of blend it all out. And now I'm going to spray the brush to see if it's like a huge difference. Oh my God. This shade looks like it just goes on like butter. And that is like so pretty. I really like how that looks. It's so clean. The shades literally are so easy to blend. You have like minuscule fallout. Like Zam and Wigglies are like, they're all literally beautiful shades, but I, I just love how Zam and Wigglies look together. So this is the side with shadow sprayed in the front and this is the side without so using like a fix plus spray does really amp up the pigmentation on the glitters. Okay for lip we're going in with the Shayla Times ColourPop pencil and BFF4. And on top of that, I'm going to go in with the Slow Down Ultra Matte Lip. Just a little bit. Blend it out with this brush. And on top of that, I'm going to go in with this Floss Lip Gloss. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the look. Um, I'm really obsessed um, with the palette. Um, let's just talk about the packaging. It's so sick. It's, I love how the outside of the packaging is. I love the fact that it's not, you know, you can easily clean this off. And I'm obsessed with the logo. Like, I'm so proud of her. Um, let's go into the palette. Um, some of my favorite shades are Sponsored, Edges. Um, I'm really loving Big Wigs. Um, Pinker and Wigglies is one of my favorite shades. Um, I know it's a lot of drama surrounding Wigglies, calling Jackie Ina racist, and we're just going to take that, we're just going to put it in the envelope, and we're just going to ship it somewhere else, because that doesn't make any sense. Um, like, uh, what exactly is a Wigglies? And I was like, you know, the definition of the word legalese, just take that and apply it to wigs. You know, the legalization of something can also be described as the wigglization of something. So there's that. We'll take it. We should be congratulating Jackie Yanga and not putting her down. I love the shade Zam. I really feel like she had everyone in mind with this palette, but definitely darker women because it is hard to find a palette that you can use every shade in and I have to honestly say that this is definitely one of them and Jackie Ina is just winning I mean she's getting married sis I saw the ring oh she's getting married um she just came out with a palette you know so much success and she's just truly blessed and she definitely deserves this opportunity and yeah that's pretty much it I mean I just feel like at the end of the day when one black queen win we all win I'll see you guys soon with another video and don't forget to subscribe and click that post notification bell. Bye!